butter? Yes. So what? Uh, should they get like peanut butter? What? Should they get like creamy? Uh, huh? Creamy peanut butter? <laughs> what? Pot. I'm making a recipe that my dad used to make growing up. I've got a couple friends coming over. Tonight, it's just the ladies. Two of them, Marion and Hannah, they actually own an amazing dumpling shop in the East Village called Mimi Chang's, and they're gonna bring over some dumplings for us. Hot pot is pretty much what it sounds like. It's a pot of hot broth, and you dip meats and vegetables and starches like noodles into the broth to kind of cook it, and then you eat it, and it's delicious. First, we're gonna make the broth, and we're going to roast bones. I'm gonna roast that with a bunch of different vegetables. So we've got carrots, and we're gonna quarter this onion, and then this is daikon. It is a radish. So I peeled the daikon. We're just gonna cut into two-inch cubes. I, I normally buy my daikon at Asian markets. Asian supermarkets are the best. You can pretty much find all sorts of weird, crazy things in there. It's also just fun shopping in Chinatown. It brings me back to my childhood. And I'm also gonna take two inches of ginger and slice it up. And you don't have to peel it because we're just roasting it. We're going to prepare our roasting pan. So we've got two pounds of beef bones, a pound of pork bones, and a pound of lamb. So you can actually just go to any grocery store. You can ask the butcher at the counter for just bones. You know, right now, a lot of people have rediscovered bone broth, and this is essentially bone broth that we're making here. We're gonna preheat the oven to 450, and we're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes. And throughout those 30 minutes, you wanna kinda stir it. Okay, we're gonna pop this into the oven. So the bones are in the oven, roasting. You can hear it sizzling, actually. In the meantime, we are going to finish off the rest of the ingredients for the broth. Um, we're gonna take some celery, cut it into two-inch pieces a whole head of garlic. I had to use some of it for something else, so it's just half a head, but that's fine. We're gonna just cut this in half and put all of it into the pot. This is half a cup of dry shiitake mushrooms, which you can buy um, in Chinatown. Black peppercorns, two bay leaves. I like to crunch them up before I put them in to release the flavor. And then three tomatoes, which I'll just cut into six. Once the bones are done roasting, I'm gonna put all of them in here. You wanna cook the bones through so that's a little bit caramelized and you start getting all of this nice juice and oil to come out. We're gonna deglaze the pan with rice wine so that we make sure to get all of that goodness. Okay, you wanna pour that in here. So next we're just gonna fill the pot with water and you wanna cover the bones. Bring it up to a gentle boil. Once it's at a gentle boil, bring down the heat so that you can start simmering the broth. And then you wanna just leave the cap on just a little ajar so that it has a little bit of breathing room. I would suggest cooking it for at least six hours and up to 24 if you want. Last night, I slaved away and made a broth so we didn't have to wait to eat hot pot today. And as you can see, it has really cooked down and the meat's gotten soft, the vegetables have gotten soft. Mm. Yeah, oh, this is really good. You can taste the daikon a lot. I mean, I cooked this for about eight hours, so it's definitely nice and flavorful. The next step is to drain everything out of the broth. Okay, guys, sieve time. Just use a spoon to kind of help some of the broth through. There's gonna be a lot of leftovers, obviously, all the vegetables and the meat. Because the vegetables have cooked down so much, they're not that tasty anymore. But the meat, if you wanted to save that, feel free to. You can save it later for a little snack. Last, I'm going to season the broth a little bit. Some generous handfuls of salt. Mmm, oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> I hope it's good. Six people coming over soon. Oh yeah. Mmm, wow, really tasty. So now that your broth is done, um, you can start getting ready with your accoutrements. Dipping sauce is a very important part of hot pot. So we are making two sauces. One is a sesame peanut sauce. 
And then the other is a more traditional saja sauce. Saja being like a Chinese barbecue sauce that's used a lot in Taiwanese cooking. You can buy saja at any Chinese supermarket. It's really delicious. The sauce kind of adds another element. So we've got sesame seeds, cilantro, white rice vinegar, soy sauce, peanut butter, ginger, sesame oil, honey, garlic, and hot chili flakes and lime. So I'm gonna first toss in a quarter of a cup of sesame seeds. I swear I know what I'm doing. Okay, next we're gonna put in just the rest of the wet ingredients. Two tablespoons of soy sauce, tablespoon of the rice wine vinegar, tablespoon of sesame oil, tablespoon of honey, two cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of ginger and then the juice of one lime, a quarter of a tablespoon of chili flakes, and then we're gonna add the peanut butter in slowly. <laughs> and then cilantro. Just gonna mix all of this together. Sweet. And this sauce can go over anything. You can put this over noodles. You can use it as a salad dressing and like a slaw. I'm gonna make a really traditional sauce using a raw egg and some saja sauce. You can just use the raw egg straight up, too, as a sauce and condiment for your hot pot. Because the soup and the food is hot, it'll kind of like cook it a little bit. So you want two eggs, some scallions, and then a quarter of a cup of saja. You definitely wanna get under the oil. We always have like a big jar of this at home growing up. So the sauce is a little weird, but um, I promise it's absolutely delicious. So when I set the table, everyone will have their own bowls and plates and little bowls for sauces. And then this will kind of just be out for the picking. I'm gonna walk you through all of my favorite add-ins for the hot pot. Obviously you can do whatever it is that you want, but these are what I grew up eating. So we've got watercress, which is I find really delicious because it has like a bite to it. Um, Napa cabbage, which is pretty traditional. Enoki mushrooms, some shiitake mushrooms, fried tofu, these weird looking things. <laughs> kind of like the Asian equivalent of a meatball. This one is made with fish, and this one is made with beef and beef tendon. So cellophane noodles are made out of beans and peas. This one in particular is made out of green beans. This is taro. This is amazing. It's found a lot in Asian cuisine. We've got some sliced beef and some thinly sliced pork. You can go to your local butcher and ask them to slice it very thin for you. This is squid. I found this at the Chinese supermarket. Um, I just love that the way that they've cut that. And then this is uh, shrimp, and you wanna definitely get shrimp with the heads on it, because um, that adds a lot of flavor to the broth. Hot pot's a really, really great way to entertain a big group of people. Because one, you can just like have the food sitting out because it's just like constantly stays warm within your hot pot. People can just like pick as they go and it's a very social, interactive, fun way to gather friends together and enjoy a meal together. No two hot pots are alike. So you do all the vegetables first in meat and then at the end when you're done eating, put in the noodles, because the noodles soak up so the soup. Yeah. But to each their own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, I would put the noodles in first. Yeah, the noodles and the Napa cabbage. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be really Asian right now and suck the chicken. Suck it. Yeah. 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 Sorry, sorry. You slurp it. Yeah, slurp it. Yeah, slurp it. <laughs> Perfect. So there are a couple different methods that you can use to cook hot pot. You can get an induction burner and put a regular pot on top of that, or you can buy a traditional hot pot setup from any Asian grocery store. And it's kind of like a built-in electric pot. To get the recipe for my hot pot broth, click the link below. Thanks for coming, guys. As a closing cheer, I wish you a gombe, which means dry glass in Mandarin. But thank you for coming. Thank you. So I called my dad, I texted him via WhatsApp. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. What's up? What's up? It's, it's, it's what's up, right? I was like, what is that thing called? It's the only, they're the only people I communicate with on that. Am I slouching on camera? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. My mother would be very upset if I, my tiger mother would be very upset if I did that.